Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video and today we're going to be taking a look at Wednesday, August the 5th, 1.24 update as well as the introduction of Season 5. As of this recording, we are still 2 hours and 20 minutes away from the actual download in and of itself, but the team did provide us with the 1.24 update notes. For those who own the full version of Modern Warfare and Free-to-Play Warzone, there will be a decrease in overall footprint on console. For those of you on PlayStation 4, it's going to be around 33.9 gigabytes, Xbox One, 49.8 gigabytes, and for those of us here on PC, it'll be 54.2 gigabytes for the full multiplayer version of the game, and those who are just running Warzone, it'll be 47.4 gigabytes. For those of you on console, you can choose to uninstall and or remove data packs if they are no longer needed. If you guys need instructions for that, they will be in the 1.24 update patch notes below this video. With the release of the 1.24 update, of course, we see the introduction of the Season 5 Battle Pass, which is available for 1,000 COD points. That'll be $9.99 US. And of course, with any purchase of Battle Passes, you'll get new operators, weapon, blueprints, vehicle skins, and a lot more. And at the end of the pass, you will get 1,300 COD points total. So, in my opinion, it's always worth picking up the Battle Pass. With the Battle Pass, we will get two new weapons, the ISO SMG at Tier 1 and the AN-94 AR at Tier 31. This will unlock the Lurch Shadow Company Operator. We'll get War Tracks, Rodeon Operator Skins and Missions, along with Experience Boost, new Vehicle Skins, new Operator Skins, additional Weapon Blueprints, and additional Operator Drops throughout the season. And of course, we can anticipate the new Remington Sniper Rifle. The playlist for the 1.24 update will include the newest map for Ground War, which will be the Verdansk International Airport, Blueprint Gunfight, Search and Destroy Double Down, the new game mode, which will be 12v12, Face Off, which will be the Krovnik Farmland Livestock for Gunfight, then we'll get the two newer maps, Oil Rig and Harbor, which will be for 24-7 gameplay. The Warzone playlist consists of duos, trios, and quads, along with the new mode Solo Buyback, which was previously the BR Solo Stimulus. As you guys recall, if your operator had enough cash on them, the amount, of course, that you would need to buy someone back via the buy station. You didn't have to go through the gulag. You could just drop right back into the game. And then, of course, blood money quads for plunder. In addition to this list, we'll also see the new mini royale trios, which is supposed to be a fast-paced battle royale in a condensed area of Verdansk. So what you'll do is instead of having to wait for all the concentric circles to close in, the team is just going to go ahead and bring you in at a later stage of the game. This should make for some very interesting gameplay, especially for all those who are streaming. You guys will just be able to jump right in and get into the mix and perhaps uh, reduce a lot of that downtime that you experience in the game. Interestingly enough, under general fixes, the team included that they have added weapon inspect to the game. This is something that many players had anticipated, and I'm sure the community is going to be pretty happy about. So, all of you who have been waiting for Weapon Inspect, it's now been included in the 1.24 update. For those of us here on PC, it looks like the team has addressed an issue where store bundle images could get stuck on the previous bundle image when we would scroll on PC. This was a bit of a disconcerting issue because I was concerned about making a purchase and making sure I was on the correct bundle. But if it has been corrected, then I'm sure we'll be able to make our purchases with a little more confidence. For those who were experiencing screen tearing, the team has addressed that. Along with those of us who were having problems with price and gas, occasionally losing their eye models while we would navigate various menus, has also been corrected. And there was a bug where when the headshot only option was set in a custom game, the mail operator hitboxes weren't functioning properly. So I found this kind of interesting. Stopping power rounds are now preserved on dropped weapons. The team addressed some transitions from heavy footsteps, sprint, tactical sprint, to lighter footsteps, a walk. This addresses players immediately becoming quiet upon slowing down from fast movements. The team mentions in general fixes that they will have weapon tuning and other weapon adjustments in a future patch and for us to stay tuned for additional updates. In multiplayer, there was a fix for invisible collisions appearing in the Barraquette Promenade. But then if you ask me, there's a lot more tuning to that map that needs to be done. There was a fix for a bug where the 23-inch RPK barrel was appearing broken in-game and in the gunsmith menu. 
There was a fix for an exploit where players were able to give themselves unlimited ammo and an exploit using the recon drone and care package. The team also addressed an issue where players were hearing the missed hit voiceover for the precision airstrike when right after calling it in and they added a voiceover line when a player's high alert warning is triggered. Well, that should be very interesting. And they fixed an issue where players could receive wallbang kills when shooting through players. In Warzone notes, we have new Warzone loot items. And of course, we have the train, which will include new loot items as well as weapons on that train. And we also noticed some interesting effects on the vehicles which may be part of a loadout or something that we unlock as part of the gameplay as well. So that'll be something worth keeping an eye on. Gulag weapons will now rotate every week between four sets total. They have increased the effective damage of all semi-auto DMRs and semi-auto sniper rifles. The team also increased the effective damage range for the FR-556. As many of you guys know, there were people within the community that were saying this gun needed a little more attention. So... Hopefully this will make it a little more viable in the Warzone gameplay. Rounding off the Warzone notes, the team fixed an issue where players were unable to call in any airstrikes, as well as fixed foreseeing invalid pings on the heartbeat sensor. They also added new voiceover lines to warn players of enemy recon drones being called in near them, in Battle Royale only, that is. Previously, the most wanted contract could respawn dead players, now it can respawn players in the Gulag in any state. And there was a fix for the Alive and Gas Challenge timer. And rounding off the 1.24 update notes, the team addressed fixes for the Call of Duty League, as well as co-op modes, which includes Tac Ops, Classical Special Operations, and Survival. And for those of us here on PC, of course, we get the additional improved stability. VRAM usage is now displayed in two separate bars, one for Warzone and the other for multiplayer. And they added a keybind for air vehicle horns in the Killstreak and Vehicles tab in the Options menu. With the release of the 1.24 update, as well as the introduction of the Season 5 Battle Pass, probably some of the most exciting aspects to the game is going to be the updates that they did to the Warzone map. We will now see the new open stadium, as well as the train that goes around Verdansk. As we saw from the trailer, there will be mounted guns on the train as well as loot crates. And as we saw the quads were jumping over it, there were some particle effects of some sort from behind the four-wheeler as well as some from the helicopter skids as it was flying over the train. Now, we don't know if that's part of the mastery collection or, or mastery challenges, I should say, or something that we will unlock in the battle pass, but that is kind of some unique features that they've added. And of course, speaking of unique features, they've also added exterior ascenders, the little lines that go up to some of the buildings that we can attach to and then rappel up. So that's gonna be an interesting part of the game as well. And of course, we will be able to see people dropping into the stadium and that will be a playable area along with the new addition of the Juggernaut drops in some of the gameplay. Not entirely sure how that's going to take effect, but Juggernaut drops will also be part of Battle Royale. And as I mentioned earlier, the new Mini Royale, which should make it interesting for all the streamers. You get right in, drop in, and get right into the gameplay. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this look at the 1.24 update notes, as well as the Season 5 Battle Pass. I'm very much looking forward for the download this very early a.m. here on the East Coast. I want to jump right in and check out Multiplayer and Warzone probably a little bit later in the day. But I did want to complete the video so you guys would have all the latest information that has been released. If you guys are following this on DTube and or BitChute, I would ask you guys to give me a follow there. And of course, if you're here on YouTube... That would be the channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe along with notifications. That way all you guys will have all the latest out of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Warzone, and Plunder.